Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Have you ever met one of those Christians whom they have been in church a long time? And they boast about the fact that, you know, they have held to the same way of thinking and doing things for the last 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. Actually, they see it as a badge of honor that they have not changed. They have kept it. They have held the tradition. Well, could that be you? Just asking. Because we have been made to feel, made to believe that it is important to just hold that. The same way we viewed things when we started is the same way we should view it now. And sometimes we are made to think that something is wrong with us. If we're thinking differently now, if we're seeing issues in a different light now, if we're treating with situations differently now. But what's the instruction? Paul says to us, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. By the anachinosis, the renovation, the making over of your mind. But what's even more significant is that it is a present continuous verb. So in other words, your mind needs to be made over, over and over again. So it is actually a good thing if the way you used to see things is not quite the way you're seeing it now. Because we ought to be changing each day. We ought to be dying daily. We ought to be becoming more and more like Christ. So the way I interpreted life 10 years ago as a Christian should be different now because I'm growing. My mind keeps on being made over, being renewed. There is a need for change. Paul said to us in Corinthians that even as the body, the physical body is decaying each day, the inner man is being renewed, is growing each day. That's what ought to be happening. So, it's time to have a new mind. It is okay to see things different. Your mind needs to be renewed, needs to be changed daily. So, give yourself permission to grow. Do not be disturbed when they say, you have changed. Say, thank you. Because you ought to have changed as we become more and more like Christ. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square, Crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.